Hi folks, I'm Anthony. Two guys ride today. Rob and I are here at a bike show. We're here with Lorenzo, and we're here. He is from uh, St. Paul Harley Davidson, and yep. then there's also uh, Wild Prairie. Wild Prairie. Harley Davidson, which is the same company. Yep. Uh, and so, Lorenzo, tell me what we have right here between us. So this guy uh, right here is a 2022 uh, Harley Davidson Road Glide Limited. Um, this is our um, fixed fairing uh, touring model. You know, let's just start up here um, sure. in the front here. So you've got, uh, I'm assuming, anti-lock disc brakes. Of course. Front and rear. Yes. Okay. And uh, what size tires are we running? Um, I believe it's a 17. About 17. Yeah, okay. I believe it's a 17 inch. I, I, mm -hmm. Obviously air slotted for cooling. Correct. Keeping it cool. Yeah, these are air cooled. Um, the, the limiteds themselves, though, they're actually, uh, the heads are liquid cooled. Um, this is actually um, where the oil cooling system lives. Um, I mentioned okay. earlier that the, uh, the limiteds have liquid cooled heads. Yeah. Um, so that's uh, where that system lives, down there in the lowers. So important part of the, of the bike. Then over here, obviously you got your front foot pegs must be. Yeah, right again, here. this is accessorized, yep. So we, we added, uh, you know, the highway pegs, um, the, the taller bars there, different grips. Um, so again, this has been accessorized a little okay. bit. Okay, uh -huh. um, but you do that right at your store. We do. Yep. So a customer could come in and order this exact package. Absolutely. You would or have the parts or they could just take this one home. You know, a lot of times the uh, the things that we um, upgrade on this bike are things that most people want to do already. Anyways, you know, okay. They want to, you know, sit up a little bit taller. That's where the bars come in. Um, put a rider backrest so you've got more support for I like the rider. That. It's a very, very comfortable ride overall. Yeah. And that just cool clicks bike. in. It does, yep. Okay. It's just little slots that it goes in so you can raise it up a little bit. That's, that's really nice, so I, I'm not seeing that. That's no. a nice that's a nice little accessory to have. Yeah. Alright, so let's talk about the you know just the gate the two gauges you have up in here. Yeah. And then it, and then the infotainment screen. Walk the, us through yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. So all of these run uh, a keyless ignition. Okay. So nowadays you've uh, you nice know, storage pocket by the way. Is that also a USB to like charge a phone? It is. So you can plug your phone in, it'll charge it, hook up to the bike, you know, if you got any music or whatnot, um, it'll hook up straight to it from there. But also if you've got a jump drive, a lot of people put music on their USB yeah. sticks or whatnot. So you could plug that in as well. And uh, that's how you'll hook up your music too. Okay. So, uh, you know, similar to a push to start car, you've got a key fob here. It's got a range on it. So most people keep it in the uh, the fairing compartment yep. here. And uh, it being a road glide, you get two. Um, two compartments, which is really, really nice. So anyways, flipping on the system here and, uh, you know, talking about the gauges, you, you know, you get your standard, you know, voltage and, and then you've got the fuel gauge on the left side of the infotainment system. Um, if you look down, you do get a, a lot more info. Your, your tack is here um, or you get an analog tack there, which is super nice. But over here on the left side of the, um, of the handlebar, I'm going to walk around here if that's okay. Yep. There's a, we call it a trip button here, and that's how you'll cycle through some of the rest of the information here. So starting, you've got the uh, total mileage of the bike, and if you flip through, you've got trip A, trip B. Um, this will tell you your fuel range as well, so not only do you have okay. a fuel gauge, but, but it'll also tell you, yeah, how many okay. miles before the light nice. will come on. So you've got that in a couple places. Um, another really cool thing about the Limiteds is you get the, the tire pressure system, uh, the tire oh, monitoring. monitoring. Yep. Right. Um, so that's displayed here as well. So that's the front tire pressure there. Okay. And then if we keep cycling, that's the rear okay. tire pressure as well. So that's all displayed here digitally. That's really nice. Yeah. That's so, so much the stuff that we see on cars. Yeah, absolutely. And that um, front and rear tire pressure um, is also available on the infotainment system to be seen as well. Okay. So it's not just on the uh, on the on the on this particular on the gauges yeah okay, so walk correct. us through the basics of what's here I'm assuming this is Bluetooth capable this is yes okay so again this is standard on the uh, on the road glide limited um, this is the boom GTS audio um, infotainment systems one of the cool things about it um, it is pressure sensitive, so for all those riders that do ride with gloves, um, it should play nice with them for most oh, gloves hey, for the most part. That's a good feature. So, um, anyways, moving on, this is the home screen here. So, um, right away, you'll notice you've got the, the navigation in the middle. Okay. Um, on the left, you've got audio, mm -hmm. and then on the right side is where uh, your menu is for your, your phone, phone when it's stuff. connected via Bluetooth. Okay. 
Again, you can hook it up via the USB if you want. in the compartment, or you can hook it up via Bluetooth. Are there some settings on here where you can view uh, bike information? Yes, so you'll notice on the right side, um, that I is um, for info, so this okay. is gonna pull up a lot of the bike info. So oh, as, nice. uh, this is a brand new one, so there isn't any info right now, right. but. But you um, can see what it would have. Yeah, or... you'll notice that it has the altitude and, and temperature displayed oh, as well. So nice. that's pretty cool as well. If you um, notice here, I was mentioning earlier about the tire pressure right. monitoring system. So the left is your front and uh, the right is your rear. Okay, no, that's nice. I mean, it, you know, it's so much like a car cars infotainment screen now with all the stuff you it have. It is, yeah, capable, very I mean. modern. <laughs> uh, my last question about the infotainment screen is I'm assuming via Bluetooth it will hook to your helmet for sound? Yes, you can hook up your um, headset if it's Bluetooth capable right. uh, to the bike as well. Okay, so you yeah, can have audio speakers for that. Correct. Okay, this has cruise control on it, right? This does, correct. Now, um, coming down below, we've got some, you know, what I think used to be buttons, yeah. right? But now yeah. just these are bike kind of fills or? Yep, yep, just, you know, filler caps. Um, on some of the previous models, the cruise control module and um, where you operated the uh, auxiliary lights, those buttons were located here. Right. Walk us through the controls on the right side. Sure. So um, starting on the top left, um, you've got the, uh, the hazard button there. So what's really cool about that is on previous models, you had to hit both the left and right turn signal at the, oh, at the, at the same, same time. time. Yeah, to, to activate that. So you get a dedicated hazard button. Um, below the hazard button, that lightning bolt um, icon, that's your start button, okay. um, your power button, so yep. to speak. And then the X there, that's your kill switch uh, or your, your off switch. Okay. Um, and then in the down position, that's, that's gonna be the run position. So, you know, essentially um, to, to, to fire the bike up, you'd wanna flip it from the off switch down, you know, to the on switch okay. and then just power it up. And then power it up. Yeah, very easy with the keyless ignition. <laughs> okay, then you've got, of course, your turn signal, but then you've got a back button. Correct. And what's really cool about the infotainment system is, um, They've added joysticks on each side of the handlebars. The right joystick there, right below the turn signal, um, you know, you can consider it like a mouse on a keyboard. Okay. Um, it's what navigates through everything. Um, you'll notice that it's also got um, a back arrow on it, so that, that's also your back button. So anyways, on the left side of the turn signal, looking at the infotainment system here, it'll just take you to the previous screen. Um, you'll notice that orange um, highlight um, right here in the middle over the compass that shows you where on the screen that you are. That way you're not lost. So again, think mouse on a keyboard. This is how you'll navigate okay. through everything. You can select yep. whatever you need to. And, uh, very similar to a uh, steering wheel controls on a car. Absolutely. Again, okay. very modern design with, uh, and with then the infotainment system. Over here on the other side must be volume then? Yes. It's really fully runnable just from the, the joysticks on the right and left side. Yeah. Yeah, at any point in time you're you know, lost in the infotainment, so to speak. Um, it's, this is your home button as well. Takes so right no matter where you are exactly, it'll, right. it'll take you right back to the screen. Okay, which, which is, is always nice. Yes, home is <laughs> always nice. Sometimes you get buried in menus. <laughs> okay, so obviously this is your left turn signal? Correct, and nope. then that is um, how you activate some of the voice commands. So. You know, if you've got Siri on your phone or whatnot, when your phone is plugged in, um, there's some there, dedicated voice So this voice does commands. have voice command. It does. Interesting. Correct. So you can, just like on a car, you can tell it to open Absolutely. Sir, uh, or Sirius take Exam the or Pandora or uh, you know, Spotify or whatever and play a tune. Okay, that is really nice. So most people keep their phones in their compartments or in their pockets, so you know yep. they can press that to take a phone call or, or whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, and then what are the rest of the buttons right up here? Yeah. So. Um, um, on the right side, these are your high beams. Yep. Um, if you want to leave them on, you want to flip them up. But if you want to flash them really quick, then you just want to go ahead and press down. But that's okay. how you operate your high beams. Okay. Um, that's your horn, um, obviously. And then going up there, that's the, the traction control uh, button. That can be turned <laughs> off or turned on. That's a part of that uh, RDRS system that I was talking right. about earlier. Right. Now, this has uh, cruise control on it. This does. And this is... It being a standard cruise control, in other words, it's not adaptive, however. Correct. Um, it isn't a throttle lock, though. Okay. Um, so it is, you know, uh, a true cruise control module, so to speak. So, so going down the hill, you'll stay the same speed. Exactly. Going up the hill, you'll stay the same It'll speed. It'll compensate. Right. Absolutely. Okay. It's making for just a very comfortable ride. All right. You must have another uh, charging point right here. Is that? No, that's actually, so, you know, this being a touring model, a lot of people, you know, are uh, on the road at hours on end, typically with the passenger. Right. So. 
This is a CB um, intercom hookup. Yep. Uh, just plug right in. Right there. Very easy. I th very think nice. previously they were in the back somewhere, but just very easily accessible. Now the uh -huh. uh, the storage compartment on this side does it also have a USB plug? It does not. It just okay, on so the right just side. Just on the right just side. Just on yep. the right side. Okay. Yep. So let's talk about the the seats here. This is that that backrest you mentioned. Yep. Okay. Are they heated? Um, on the limiteds, they are not, but okay. they do, of course, make a lot of different aftermarket options uh, that you know have heated components to them. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you can get them heated. You can. Oh, absolutely. Okay, can you get them heated and cooled? Um, I I do believe they make cooled ones as well. Okay. Um, so even though you may not have that as a factory option, you know, being that it's a Harley, there are just millions of aftermarket products that you can accessorize your bike with. Anyone. You got foot pegs for the passenger down here? Yep, passenger boards for the passenger as well. Um, you know, the more surface area for your foot makes a makes a big difference when you're on the road for, you know, four or five, six hours a day versus your standard pegs, you know, makes a big difference. So tell us about the engine. Yes. I'd say the star of the show. Yes. <laughs> um, this is the Milwaukee 8. Um, this is a, um, a new motor design that Harley came out with back in 2017. Um, what's really cool about the Milwaukee 8 is, you know, they're, they're rubber mounted and they're, they're counterbalanced. So um, basically there's a lot less moving parts. The bike is just a lot smoother at idle. Uh -huh. So how many, uh, what's the cubic, cubic inch displacement? 1868 cubic 1868. inches. 1868. Yeah, is okay. what it is uh, officially. But All so. right. Uh, how many gears does it have? How many it's a six speed. Let's talk about these uh, storage compartments you have on um, yeah. left and right. Yeah, so um, these are lockable. Um, okay. What's really cool about these is Harley's call them the, the one touch. So they actually open from the inside. Oh! Um, so they open up here, which makes it a lot easier to access when you're, when you're on the bike itself. Um, a lot of times yeah. you have to get off and fiddle with the, the clasp on the outside. So this just makes it a lot easier to get in there. Easy to get them off too. And yes, these are removable. It's a very easy task to be able to take them off and put them back on with those knobs. Okay, uh, so this is another uh, plug-in for the headset? Yep, for the passenger. Okay. That way they can talk to each other if they want. So you've got another plug-in right back here. Yep, that is for the battery tender. Okay, yep, so nice. So you just plug it right plug in. Plug it right in for those people that want to store it at, at home for themselves. Um, Sweet. Instead of having to take the seat off and getting it plugged in there. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. All right, so coming around the back here, um, LED video, lighting all the way around? Again, this is an accessorized bike, so um, it's got some aftermarket lighting. Um, it's it's very, very bright in the back. So you'll notice it's got the tombstone head or uh, tail lights here on each side. Mm -hmm. um, typically these are filled um, on a stock one. Um, and then you've got the lights up here on the tour pack as well. So these these would be all your brake lights. So tell us about the, the back storage area here. Yeah, absolutely. So again, this being a limited, you get the tour pack um, standard on this motorcycle. So um, you get quite a lot of storage in here. You can fit two full-faced helmets um, okay. in the storage that's, uh, that's compartment. Nice. So that's That's what you really need that for. Yeah, so one for the driver and one right. for the passenger as well. Very nice. And this does come with uh, a stereo headset um, okay. that hooks up to the that tank there, there, the CB, yeah. Okay. Yep. So tell us about the exhaust down here. Yeah, so um, these are aftermarket uh, slip-ons. These are one of the many that we offer at the shop. Um, these guys are Chromeworks. Um, it's a, these are the slash cuts you'll notice. That are, these are a perfect exhaust for somebody that wants a, a lower tone out of the Milwaukee 8. In terms of availability, do people have to like pre-order their stuff or do you pretty much have stock ready to go? Yeah, for the most part, we uh, have stock ready to go, you know, and off, on the off chance that there's a specific color or trim package um, that we don't have at the store, we can definitely special order one for a customer. Um, if we have to go that route, you know, you can expect a uh, eight to ten week turnaround time for, okay. a, for a brand new bike um, in a well, perfect that's world. that's way less than a car. <laughs> All Absolutely. Right. Lorenzo, thank you so much for spending your time with us. Tell us about this beautiful Harley. We sure appreciate it. No, thank you guys for stopping in and uh, giving me a chance to talk about this awesome bike. Thanks for watching.